brush my teeth. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Hey guys, video. Sorry it's a little late. Because I know it's a little late. I'm wearing the cleavage shirt again. Because I like it. Other than the fact that it has cleavage, it's a good shirt. I gotta brush my teeth. I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, it's Useless Tutorial Guy7790. Today I'm going to teach you how to brush your teeth. First thing you got, oh, give me a second, I gotta put the camera down for a second. First thing you gotta do is take off toothpaste, and then you gotta grab a toothpaste and put it on the. on the toothbrush, and then you gotta put the lid back on. No. I'm using my left hand here, which was just very good. And the turn the sink down. And then you go like this and just keep brushing it. And then you turn it off. Then you proceed to scrub your teeth. Okay, um, there's like a spot right by the record button. I had to wipe off, and that would not be good if I stopped. My teeth are pearly wet now! Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, it's my bone. Oh, no. It's my brother's room again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so I know that last time there was a bit of a problem with the way I set up my camera. You couldn't see absolutely anything of my face. It was like, Sorry guys, it goes dark right here. So, I'm just gonna sit on the bed this time. While I do this, let's just hope that this isn't another complete fail. Or I can just stand up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand up here. Okay. So today, I am going to talk about, you know, this, is this guy, is this guy, this guy. I think I'm just kind of being random today with this video. Um, I'm in my little brother's room again because my little brother and his friend playing PlayStation in there, as you saw earlier. Um, Caleb Galaxy, go subscribe to him. Uh, um, and yeah, um, but today I am going to be talking about my disagreement with some people's opinion on Game of the Year 2014. A little later on the scene, yeah. Go, go. Sorry, they almost, they, they tried to attack my video. Bad. No attacking videos. <laughs> um, now, a lot of people say that Dark Souls 2 should be Game of the Year. Ah, uh, I don't agree with that. I'm sorry. I'm just... We have a like, oh, Dark Souls 2, best, best, the best game of this year. And really, it's, it's good, but I don't think it deserves game of the year. I don't think it can match up with games like, like Far Cry 4 and, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, Shadow of Mordor. Um, it's just, it doesn't match up to me. Like, yeah, it's a good game, and it should be nominated at least, but I don't think it should win. I mean, like... I own the game and I didn't get very far in it. Like, I had fun with it, but it was just a big cluster frick of frustration. I hated it. I didn't hate, well, sorry, I hated it while I was playing it. And maybe I'm just not looking at it right, maybe I wasn't playing it right, but I did not like it as much as everyone else. It's, it's overrated, in my opinion. And, um, 
Yeah, I, I just disagree with it. Um, and Watch Mojo. I watched Mojo and uh, named a game of the year, and I know they're vote based. And I was just kind of like, why do so many people find this game so good? I mean, like, my, I must have a weird opinion on the game. Keep in mind, this is my opinion on the game. It's just, I, I found, I found Far Cry 4 to be the best game of the year, but that's because that might be because I never played Far Cry 3, and this was my first Far Cry game, and I was just, oh my god, I was blown away by Far Cry 4. You have no clue how much time I put into that. Um, and but as for the topic, I'm gonna lay out my some of the my favorite games of this year. Shadow of Mordor, really good, really good gameplay. The story was too short though. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition, I haven't played it, but apparently it's really good. So I'm just gonna stand by what everyone says about it. Um, Far Cry 4, probably my favorite game of the year. It was really fun, blow, blew me away, pretty much, apparently it's pretty much Far Cry 3 with helicopters, which is a good thing. Um, and Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Um, a lot of people, okay, yeah, that leads me to another topic, changing topic. Those were my favorite games of this year, favorite one being Far Cry 4. Um, but I'm going to go to Diablo 3 now. Um, now, uh, I went through a Di really big Diablo 3 phase. Like, I would not stop playing it for five months, um, and I had a, I had a demon hunter, my build was going pretty well, but freaking Crider Shot is impossible to get, and I can not get a good roll on my stone Jordan, but here's a problem, when you say that, oh, I play Diablo 3 a lot, people, uh, original Diablo fans will, like, stone you, they'll be like, Diablo 2 was better! <laughs> and here's the problem with that. I... Uh, I've never... I played a Diablo 2 once. Three years ago. And I was probably too stupid to understand it, but when I played it, I found it incredibly boring. Stone me now! Um... And... Maybe it's just because I was just a stupid little fifth grader at that time. I was just like, oh, this game sucks. But I remember it not holding up very well. Maybe it was just too complicated for me at the time. Maybe I was still a little graphic junkie. I don't know, but I did not find it in Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 as fun as Diablo 3. But Diablo 3 I invested a lot more time into. And the reason why I find Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls one of the best games of this year, it improved on Diablo 3 a lot. It boosted the level, um, it added Torment, I think, was that added in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't around for the Inferno days, I just joined this. I joined recently in the Diablo community. Um, and, like, the game is flawed, yes, but Reaper of Souls fixed a lot of that. It extended the really easy campaign to quite a bit. Um, it added in bounties and Nephilim rifts, which, oh my god, thank the lord, jeez, like, oh my god, I, I, I cannot imagine that game without those, cause that must have been so boring, just playing through the game constantly, and, oh, especially to have to get to higher levels too, I would hate that. I would hate that. So, yeah, Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls improves on Diablo 3 a lot. And that's why it's one of my favorite games of this year. Um, I don't know how long this video has been now, but I think it's probably around 9 minutes. So, that was your video of the week. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed my really odd opinions. Um, and, yeah. You guys have a good day. Stay glitchy. I'm... I'm sorry, you have to see me grab the camera and end the video. It's it's a sad thing, but I don't have an editor right now. So, you know, just... Ha. It's a ha. Oh, oh, ah! Okay, goodbye.